What's up guys and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. I know this video is a bit late, but I kind of forgot it in the Wednesday, so... But yeah, I made this um, thing, which because, I mean, I've been watching a lot of videos on like cable cars and stuff, and I built this little kind of rail or whatever it is, and I wanted to make a vehicle that can both drive on the ground and turn around and stuff like that, and that you could use on something like this, to so say if you have like a big cliff or something down here that you want to get your vehicle around and that is the only way to get over it. So let me show you how this thing works. There is going to be like two seats for this and this one is the main one. Let's close up the doors. That's free. Yeah, got that right. And to make this one, right now it's like in park mode and in order to get it to driving on the ground you press 2 and you get these wheels down. Now this is just a prototype and I will make it pretty later and stuff like that and basically as you can see it doesn't drive too fast because if I turn up the engine too fast it's just gonna spin out but I mean it drives and it goes from side to side and all that's pretty decent maneuvering and to get it up on the rail to get from one side of the cliff to the other you just park it up here it doesn't need to be like completely I'm actually gonna do it a little bit off center just to show you guys that it can correct itself for it so to get it onto the cliff you need to first get the wheels up and that's gonna take a bit and then you're gonna raise your vehicle like this and as you can see we are pretty much off center but that can be fixed by pressing this button which is then gonna get these things up there and it's gonna correct itself and basically free hanging just like this I would really love if there was like a possibility for me to drive it like this from this seat off but as it is right now I need to get out of the vehicle and into the other seat to get to uh, the controls of this because it's running off of a different motor because or else the other um, these wheels are gonna be spinning when the other wheels are spinning and as you can see, it doesn't drive overly fast, but if I turn up the engine, then it's just gonna break, basically, because I don't know why physics are weird in this game. But yeah, this is oddly weird. It's usually not this slow. There we go, now I got a little bit more speed. Yeah. Again, it is not perfect by any means. It never has been perfect, and it never will be perfect, probably. But when you then get to the end, you just switch back to the other seat and get these feet down just like that that's not the wrong button it is the wrong button but shut up and then we go like this and we are ready to go on the other side of the cliff this could be a really cool uh, vehicle to do in like a um, a survival map or something if you could find like an island or something that uh, there is no natural way of getting out to and then just like build this sort of a rail out to the uh, to the island and then you can build a vehicle like this to actually get it over there and you can actually go forward and back I mean I could let's just back it up I mean I could just turn it around and just move forward to get back but where's the fun in that let's do it the uh, the original way that we came in if I can get this thing lined up. <coughs> it can be a little tricky sometimes, but I mean, basically it's not too hard. Yeah, that's good enough. And get this thing up right there, so we can get this arms up there, correcting itself. E -E -U -cool. And then we go to the other seat, put it in reverse, and going back. Now as you can see the feet are a bit wobbly and there is like some sort of breaking thing here. I don't really know why it stops and slows down sometimes, but probably because the collision in this game are pretty weird. But Ow. And then we need to go back to the other seat and press these two down and then let go. Like this. There we go. Nice and easy. And I mean, it is still just a work in progress, and I am, am working on getting it to actually turn to the sides and stuff on the rail, because as it is right now, you can only go forward and back, but 
I mean, if it's like an, uh, an sort of an entrance or something to your uh, your base or whatever, it's a pretty good way to keep the bad guys out. Unless, of course, they can build something like this, or if uh, you know, it will fly or something. But as a general thing, this is a pretty decent thing to get to your base, in my opinion. And let's park it for a second. And oh yeah, I need to open the door. Duh. Now, as you can see, we do have a few of these uh, connections, and of course, a few back seats too, if you want to get more people. And you could exchange these for like uh, storage or something if you want to transport items. And let's see. So yeah, I'm not gonna go into details on this, but. Let's see if I can get up here. As you can see, I got a few control points here. And I'm just gonna let it stand still here so you guys can see most of it. Yeah, you can always pause the video if you wanna get to the specifics of this. And this is basically just the way it looks. I have no idea what's what because it's been a few weeks since I built this thing and yeah. So basically that's just what I wanted to show you guys today and I hope you guys liked it and oh yeah there's going to be a, like a um, a paint tool for the uh, for the uh, the game one of the new couple of days so that's going to be really cool I can pivot this thing up and stuff like that but for now that's pretty much it so thank you guys for watching and if you liked it please leave a like and a comment below and I will see you guys in the next video